Demonstrators danced, shot off tiny fireworks in Baghdad's Tahrir Square as the news spread. Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdel Mahdi would resign. It's a celebration that came at an unbearable, unnecessary price. Wake up, wake up, a mother shrieks over her son's body. He, one of more than 40, gunned down in 48 hours in the southern Shia city of Nasiriya, where eyewitnesses described streets being turned into rivers of blood. This young man also killed there wears a t-shirt that says, we want a nation. <laughs> this is the scene at the morgue in Najaf, home to some of Shia Islam's holiest sites, heavily influenced by Iran. And a heartbreaking post asks, does anyone know this young man? He's my son Mehdi, is the first comment. The square at the epicenter of demonstrations in Baghdad is lined with shrines for those who died, nearly 400 countrywide. Visitors pray for the souls of people they never met. For Sadib, it's her way of thanking them for the future she can now dream of for her two children, who she brought here for the first time. Yes, they are too young to really understand, she says, but I want them to come and experience this. There is a sense and a determination that this will be the chapter in Iraq's bloody history that finally alters the status quo that has governed the population's lives since the U.S.-led invasion, one that traded Saddam Hussein's dictatorship for another form of captivity, defined by chaos and violence, rampant corruption, rising unemployment, divisive sectarian politics, and Iran's looming shadow. Iran. Iran wants to make us a part of Khomeini's Islamic Republic, this man says, just like ISIS wanted to make us a part of their state. Rare to hear such harsh words expressed publicly against Iraq's neighbor, whose militias and political influence wield ultimate power here. But the barrier of fear is breaking. Iraqis want to control their own destiny and are willing to risk it all. The prime minister's anticipated resignation is just a first step. For those who have taken to the streets, it's about reclaiming their country and upending the political system that has brought more destruction than democratic rights.